Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. We got this, pseudo! G get the fuck out of here! Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. The old hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. Alright, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dublitz was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Oh shit, that's a G Gatlian! A regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha! So that's our murder weapon! Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. 
Giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblet status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello! If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in me. Fallen prey to my glory. That's right, Crimothy. I know it was you. My own son killed me. And for what? The inheritance? My land? Or just a plain old space Oedipus complex? No matter. Just as you had no qualms about killing your own father, I shall gladly spill the blood of my firstborn. Farewell, Crimothy Giblets! If you're hearing this, it means you just killed an enemy. This is fine. anything to say about it. I just wanted to cover all my bases here. Good work using the jetpack. But it won't be enough! Let's shut that out with you.
my disc is good to go if you want it.
next? Still alive, are you? I should have known it was you. It could only have been you. How moronic of me to assume otherwise. You're the most obvious suspect. Nipulon. Nipulon? He, he's the second in command. Nipulon, you've been here from the start. Gramatuous' favorite right-hand man. You always hated the attention he gave me. You wanted them all for yourself. Could be told? I was quite scared of you. Captain Master, you think you're capable of. Maybe sure I could defeat you. But I have to try. together to fully embody the sociology. I really did respect you when I was alive, but then you killed me. So it pains me, but I must kill you back.
Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself. I killed myself. There we go. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. We all got our own demons to deal with. Jeez. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. <laughs> we made it. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? <laughs> That's a t-shirt. Let's get out of here while the getting's good. We can get back out through the trap door. Gene, Gene knows. He can fix, get them all fixed up. I just wanted to say, you know, today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. Oh, thank God. Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again, okay? Oh, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go. Come on over. Let's bow wow. Okay. You, uh, you seen Merv? Oh, uh, no. Uh, why are you coming in? Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if you can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. Let me give you the news. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it was pretty embarrassing. All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it, since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite... Uh, you and I are best pals. Can we do this with just you and me? You know, we can leave them with... Okay, listen, just, just, it's easy. Put the other Gatlians down next to Gene, and let's get out of here, look for Lizzie, and have a chat. Oh, sure, 
all, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, we're, let's find your sister. All right, guns. No funny business while the bounty hunter's away. We'll be just fine. Good luck out there. Look at us, just you and me again, you know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that. So your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna chat. It's gonna be good. It's gonna, it's all good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about this. I don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, d don't feel weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Losing confidence in my pranking ability. Let's do another prank, though. Let's just hope we get the Hey, listen, I'm sorry about being weird back there. It's just, well, oh, there's something I need to tell you. Whew, this is this is hard. Just give me a second. Oh, you got this, Kenny. Come on. What are you doing? Making it awkward. All right, Kenny, you're talking to yourself now. They can hear you. It's not so hard. Just tell them everything. Broken leg guy's still here. See you later. <laughs> you, you'd never judge me, right? I mean, we're such close partners at this point, you know? Like, nothing I could say could ruin that, right? <laughs> I'm just just kidding around. Just I'm just joking around. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm out of my body right now, I think. Oh boy, okay, so that um, that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's say we can fix him up and, he, you know, back alive. The thing is, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly or, or you know, like communicate um, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that the others don't know and it's, a, it's nothing too crazy, you know? It's, it, it, okay, no, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Twig is working today? Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Tweeg is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, 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 will, we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just... You know, it, it's gonna weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. You, you, you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? Uh, okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm gonna be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. 
That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but wh where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and, well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and, well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. No, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something, you know? Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka, 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 choo choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. You betcha. I'm gonna get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So, I led the G3 right to Gatlas. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know? But they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Let's Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do, do, do you see my problem, right? Like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, -uh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, w what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Not Help me, please. that sentence. We're in okay, love. We gotta get to them. Oh, shit, yeah. We, I can't dine and dash. I love this place. Don't want to get blacklisted. Oh fuck, okay, this, this, this changes shit, this is bad. I'm here live in downtown Blim City where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, <laughs> Okay, well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you're that the other that they're trying to kill. I'm Peter Bucket from Blim City News. Stay safe out there. Hey, come on, what are you doing? We, we gotta get to the house. <laughs> Danger. Can't believe I'm saying that. Broken leg guy still here. See you later. Holy shit! 
shit, they're fucking everywhere! Get to the house! Come on, we gotta get to the fucking house! Surprised to see me, bounty hunter! <laughs> you fuck with the wrong class, Syndicate! It's all over! Hand over the Gatlians you stole from us, and then let me heal you! Nice and easy! We know everything about you, and we still have two oh-so-special people who are very worried about you! Thanks for coming. Turn yourself in and nobody has to get hurt. It's not your fault. Well, no, you know, fuck that. It is your fault. You fucked up enormously, but we'll deal with that later. Please, fire up the warp core. We're leaving. What's the plan? Yeah, the warp's ready, but... We still go with the jeep, we won't follow. I'll handle that. Can you pull off the Hennison maneuver mid-warp to juke them? Can I what? Did you make that up? You mean scramble the warp? Fine, yes, scramble the warp. Bounty hunter, bring me to the warp core. Gene, listen carefully and enter these exact coordinates. Eight, six, two, one, three, five. Lowercase X dash W W capital both C four uh, five six seven C oh, backers, capitals uh, five eight nine two dash one seven four two 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 six five three four four. Fuck dash, these are long eight, coordinates. Nine, this is why fuck, no one types uh, space coordinates seven, in manually. Fuck it. Five five five. The trick of the four three dash two one one eight okay. seven Got four. It. Scramble top. And here we go. Fuck. That was close. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? Did, did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but, uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Jesus, I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? That's right, you need old Kenny. Fine, I don't need an answer! God, yes, creature. It, it was our home, and it got all fucked up. We're, we're, we're trying not to think about it too much. Got it, thank you. Well, it looks like shit. How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, don't get all depressed about it. We've still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut-eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Don't worry about your sister. I'm, I'm looking for her. I mean, don't get me wrong, she sucks and I hate her and I hope she dies, but, uh, well, you seem pretty torn up about her. I'll make some calls and find her. I promise. Huh, so your civilization had computers at least. That's good. I really wasn't sure how primitive you were. All right, good night.
All right, you're finally up. Okay, let's get back to it, I guess, you know? I, I, I hope Jean has a lead on Lizzie. Let's go. Yeah, look who finally decided to wake up. You know how late it is? Because I don't. There's no sun on this dead rock of a planet. By the way, I got you a little something something. A new suit upgrade. Extra overshield. You're welcome. Let's get to business. I've got something you like. You can breathe easy. I'll get right to it. I tracked down Lizzie's bio signal. Oh, that's great. So, so she's... She's alive. Don't worry. But she's on the move. Probably on a ship, so we have to act fast or we'll lose her. If you're ready, just step through the portal door. 